Hi everybody, my name is Ivan Banov. Welcome to this episode of EdTech's Tips, a weekly video containing useful info meant to make your life as a member of CBTC easier. So this week we're going to be talking a little bit about selection and editing things. So we're going to just go through a couple of new hotkeys that are hopefully useful. I have here open a, a folder with a bunch of picture files that I use in my Spanish classes. Now let's say I want to select multiple of these files. If you guys know, you can select them the same way we do with drag and click. Um, but you, there are also some other ways you can do that. So the first is, let's say I want to select all of the, the pictures between alto and bajo down here. Instead of clicking and then trying to select them all with this, sometimes it's easier to click on alto and then you can hold shift and click down on bajo. So what the shift and click does is it allows you to select everything between two clicks. So we click here and click here and it'll select everything. Let's say you want to um, select this word and maybe a couple others. If you hit control and click, you can select multiple files and that's a way for you to be able to maybe copy, move, delete, or whatever any of these. So shift click selects everything in between. Control click is allows you to select individual files. What's also fun is let's say you want all of these except for one of these, you can control click and then it'll unselect whatever ones you have clicked. So control click is a really helpful hotkey and shift click is also really helpful. This also applies to, let's say we're gonna be do, doing work in an Excel spreadsheet and you wanna select multiple cells, control click allows you to select all of them, which is kinda neat. And if you click on one and hit hold shift and click down to the other, that'll allow you to select everything between your two clicks. So let's say everything between alligator and 36, we just hold shift. Otherwise you can control click, or just like we did before, you can shift click a bunch and control to unclick individual cells. So if you wanted to copy and or move those, that's kind of an interesting thought. Another um, the, uh, context in which this works is in text. So let's say I want to select everything between this and coming. I can just click there and click there. So you can shift click to select anything you want in between your two clicks. Now let's say you have a bunch of stuff selected and you accidentally sneezed ugh, and you just did something you didn't want to do. How do you get all this back? Our last hotkey that I think is really important is control Z. Control Z is an undo button and when you push control Z everything that you had just previously done will come back. Uh, the same thing would apply, let's say I have all these files selected and I accidentally delete all of them. Oops, I didn't want to. Where did they go? All you need to do is hit Control Z and they'll come right back. This applies to most contexts um, in Microsoft products and on the internet. Control Z is really important. If you accidentally Control Z something and you want to redo it, you can usually redo it with Control Y or Control Shift Z, depends on the context. That one's a little bit more advanced, but let's say you delete something, you want it back, Control Z, but then you decide you want to redo it, Control Y will get rid of it once again. So hopefully those are interesting tips. Uh, thank you so much for your feedback. We're going to try to get you a list of all the different hotkeys that we've covered so far in these videos. We hope you all have a wonderful week and we are happy to help out however we can. If there's anything we could ever do, please email us at edtech at cbtc.edu. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.